Okay guys, it's December 31st, 2019. Happy New Year to everybody. I got a comment on under one of my videos about the Cinebench benchmark of my Xeon E52697 version 3. Um, I never did a single core benchmark. So, I'll do this quickly. Um, I'll do both benchmarks, um, the R20 and R15, we're starting with R15, and, uh, and that's basically it. Uh, the temperatures I really don't care about, but I'm going to keep the core temp running right here. I'm gonna reset it just in case. I'll do a I'll do a quick uh, show of um, the temperatures it got. But anyway, uh, so here we go. I'm gonna do Cinebench 15. I'll do single core first, and then I'll do multi core. Now. Just so you guys see the CPU, come on, focus. I, ra I raised the frequency base clock to 104.97, which is 105 in the BIOS. Uh, core temp reads it like that. Right now, the, the CPU is idling, so you got basically 1260 megahertz on uh, all the cores I guess and these are the idle temperatures so I don't know why it's asking me to accept the, the thing again that's weird anyway so <clears throat> let me see something how do I do a single core here I don't even know let's do the let's do this the regular run. Maybe the single core is only for R20. Uh, CPU boosted up to 3.2 gigahertz while it was doing that. So my score is 2149 I guess let me see yes 2949 so I closed as many of these things down here as possible which doesn't which which is I guess that's the best I could do See, the top score here is what I got previously. I don't know why this one's lower. I don't know, maybe something's... Maybe something's running in the background slightly using up the CPU. I don't know. Um, that's all I got running here. I mean... Uh, antivirus... What is this thing here? Hold on a second. What is this crap here? That's my power supply backup utility. I can't. I I ended all all the things possible here, besides the core temp. iTunes won't close. I would have to end task it or something. I don't care about that. So anything that I could uh, close without end tasking. I, I did it now let's see is there a single is there a way to do a single core here advanced benchmark ah okay you gotta enable advanced benchmark so now I'm gonna do single core on R15 
Oh man, this is gonna take a long time. What is this boosting to? Single core is going up to 3.6. I thought it would go higher than that. Okay, so I was wrong. The 105 base clock has really not nothing to do with uh, boost clock. Because the boost clock is still 3.6 gigahertz like this processor is designed uh, for that. Alright, I'm going to pause this. I'm not going to wait for this thing to do all these squares because that's going to take too long. So I'll just pause it and I'll uh, I'll come back when I get the score for a single uh, core. Okay, I'm going to show you the progress. I have a feeling this the phone will shut off if I don't uh, record or at least touch the camera mode so I'm gonna pause it again I'm gonna come back later all right this is almost done now and uh, it's been using basically core six and seven I mean I don't know it's alternating between six and seven Okay, so single core benchmark is 115. So there you go. Um, I'll do the OpenGL benchmark. I got a GTX 1070 in here in case you guys care. It's a older old card. So GTX 1070, the uh, Asus ROG Strix Edition. Man, I hope my cold goes away soon. And by the way, the Asus card is, uh, the video card is not overclocked or anything like that. It's 100% stock. So I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but let's see. Uh, this is the score for this video card. 93.36 frames per second. Whatever the reference matches, I have no idea what that is. But anyway, here is the scores. I'm not going to run the R20 version of this benchmark. Because... Um, it just takes too long. I don't want to make the video long. But uh, it's Windows 10, not Windows 8. This thing's reading it incorrectly. Um, and the the CPU clock went up from 2.6 gigahertz to 2.73 gigahertz. Um, <clears throat> Right now, 480 got a higher score than mine. That's a garbage card. I mean, 580. I have 580 in my um, i7. Uh, what the hell is it? 7700K running stock. I have that card in there. And I got Grand Theft Auto 5 on it. And it runs worse 
on that system than this system, this computer here, with a GTX 1070. So the CPU, uh, Grand Theft Auto is really mostly graphic card dependent. It's not, uh, it's less of a CPU dependent than a graphics card, so. The GTX 1070 is better than the RX 580 and Grand Theft Auto 5 at least. Anyway, here is my uh, temperatures while the benchmark was running. And that's it. Hope you guys have a good, good new year. Alright, bye.